In this video, we are going to see how to use Image API, how to you know uh, uh, code with Image API, and then we are going to see one interesting task. As in, if you have suppose uh, a node, and you have thousand nodes, and you have to create dynamic images uh, where the image is like printing the title or the description or any other field data. So uh, you want to generate those images dynamically, and uh, will be different for each node. Uh, so we can do that through custom code without any extra library, uh, all by Drupal API and a little and, a, and one contributed module. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So uh, here, since the example is a little. Uh, uh, complex so I have already coded for you guys and I'm going to explain it to you so uh, what I have done I have actually uh, created two services for you one service is called image manager another service called effect factory this image manager service is basically uh, responsible for creating an image dynamically for me and this factory master, uh, service is basically providing all the required configuration uh, for applying the image effect on an image let's see how it it works and then if you find interesting we'll drill down to see how it is implemented so for example let's say let's see if i have one uh, uh, in, uh, node and let's change it to uh, new title and then i'm going to save it let's save it it has been saved and then i'm going to use this url to generate the image dynamically and then it is telling me that the image has been generated and saved to this public folder i have already opened this public folder let me refresh it and then see the it has been dynamically changed to the new title so uh, uh, what you can do whatever i have done here you can hook it in the uh, entity save entity update entity delete to update create and modify the dynamically generated image let's see how it is uh, implemented so as i have told you i'm using two services first service is the image manager responsible for creating this dynamic image and second service is responsible for providing the configuration uh, configuration what configuration configuration of how this text should be uh, rendered the font the padding the color and all background color all this configuration is being handled by this second service called image effect factory basically it is defining the configuration of the image effect we have to apply uh, one prerequisite requisite is that for applying this particular image effect I am using a module called image effect module so along with so Drupal does provide a lot of good image effects but uh, image if, if, a lot of cool image effects like uh, uh, making a image black and white adjusting the gray scale uh, or uh, overlaying text over the image uh, is being provided by this contributed module so I am simply using this module and uh, will uh, pass on the configuration and simply apply the image eff effect provided by this module okay so you have to download this module image effects showing it again so yeah so coming back to this let's let's start with what we see here and then we'll drill down we see one URL called uh, create image and passing the node ID of the image for which we have to create this dynamic image. Let's go to that controller. So if I open the routing file of my module, I can see this is that route and I see that this is that create image programmatically uh, route defined for that. Let me go to the source directly controller and create image programmatically and you would see inside this uh, this is a normal controller 
and then you would see I have a simple method called create uh, sorry this is a factory method called get link this is giving giving me the link of the dynamically created image which is calling uh, create image method of image manager and what this image manager is this image manager is the image manager services which I have just told you so let's see what this create image of image manager service is doing let me show it to you image manager service is this and this is defined in the service image manager let me go to the service folder image manager and this is a simple service okay and if I go to the method called create manage and this is creating the whole ma magic so this ma create mag image is doing what it is simply calling the image factory of Drupal and I'm providing the image the background image where I have to you know add this overlay text so you see there is this background image so where is this so I, for this I have created a constant you can see this constant where I'm defining the path of the background image you can set it to your own so let me show it to you so I have it at the my custom module and inside the custom module I have a image folder and here I am I am using this background image so going back to my service uh, yeah so this is the background image uh, path and coming back to my create met image method yeah so here I'm create using Drupal image factory uh, to you know what to uh, create an image instantiate or create an object of the image factory and then once I have that object I'll simply pass it on to the what uh, once I have the image object I'll use it later what do I need next I need to have the effect that I have to apply on to this image so for effect as I've told you I have one more service uh, uh, and if I go back to my services.yml file I have one more service called uh, image fact effect factory which is providing me the desired image effect uh, object so that is a factory class providing me the desired image effect and if I go back to uh, go to that image effect factory this is a simple class so let me open the image uh, manager file for you this is how it is how it is uh, creating uh, an object of image effect factory it is calling the create instance and yeah so so you see this image effect factory create instance what it is doing it is simply calling the image effect manager um, sorry yeah so it is calling the uh, image effect manager as in the effect manager of uh, yeah it is calling self and then uh, once it is yeah once it is it has been calling itself and then um, doing what it, it is uh, doing nothing but it is simply yeah so if I go to this uh, definition uh, you see this what is this in Drupal image image effect manager so this is uh, Drupal's image effect manager so it is calling uh, the create instance which is creating an instance of the image effect manager of Drupal and passing on to the type of image effect we want to create so uh, this is being provided by the image effect module so we are utilizing the text overlay type of image effect uh, module the effect effect name and you see yeah coming back to we are creating an instance of that and then from this method this is the method of this service we are passing on to the configuration we want uh, we, we would be needing to apply this effect 
what are those configuration uh, configuration like uh, what font we want to use what layout we want to use what text we want to use and what is that text so if we come to the font overrides this is like uh, what font we want to override with as in if do we want to uh, what size we want to provide what color we want to provide what uh, col uh, this show color we want to provide also 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 this text for image effect text overlay you must provide a valid uri otherwise font uri otherwise it will throw an error for here i am using a font i have saved it in the uh, font directory of my custom module and i have defined it in my uh, through this custom function and here i am providing the path of that custom uh, custom font and then i have other methods for overriding the layout as in how uh, what is going to be the padding up top bottom uh, how is it going to handle the overflow situation how is it going to be the background color of the text overlay and then we have how we are going to override the text as in how the text is going to look um, how what is it going to be the alignment left right uh, maximum ca characters it can contain maximum width so all those in uh, configuration and then what type of image so what is the text actually we want to render through this function and all this is being provided into this configuration data and this here i'm overriding here this my custom function you can simply write it in your uh, one big array but i wanted it to be segregated into different functions that is why i have created these four different functions um, so yeah then i am simply setting all the overridden configuration with this set configuration method and then i am returning a in uh, instance of this uh, image effect uh, uh, back to my create my image function so i have got the image on which i have to apply through the background image on which i have to apply the effect i have, I have created an instance of the effect and and then what do i have to do this is the apply effect of drupal api i am just applying the effect i have uh, got this from this create instance of image effect factory I'm applying the effect and then I'm providing what file name I have to, you know, uh, have of this newly generated file. Uh, and again, I've created a new function for that. And if you go uh, see this new function is sort of like ensuring that uh, there should exist a directory uh, and that should that directory should be writable. Uh, and if not, then create it what directory i'm talking about so i have you know uh, there should be a directory where all these uh, dynamically generated images should be stored so for that i am using a public directory in the public file system called drupal hex images let me show it to you i can go to my sites default um, uh, drupal images you see this directory i'm talking about so this um, um, get file uh, function get file name function is ensuring that uh, uh, my uh, directory is prepared and is ready to be writable and exist if not then it will create it and then it will it is going to create a file with uh, name something like node the id of the node and the language of the node and then it is going to return me the uh you are uh, this this and then create the file with this file name and then save it this will save this new file uh, with the applied effect and then going to return the file name to me that is how it is simply creating the file let's see how it works again let me create a new file uh, let's see um, it is new file new node with new name okay i'm going to save it okay and then i'm going to test it let me show it to you let me open that routing file for you 
and see yeah it is uh, I'm going to duplicate it and and here the node ID is this it is telling me that the path is something like this and this is the old file of different node let me see if I can see new node with new name a new dynamically generated uh, image has been created so uh, now the sky is the limit we can do a lot of things with the uh, image API create apply different effects on it through this way hope uh, this uh, would help you in any way I will uh, commit all these changes in my git repository and provided in the uh, description of this video thank you very much